получится. Спортбетском – уникальное место для настоящего геймера. Только здесь возможны ставки на киберспортивные события. Ты знаешь толк в самых популярных играх и готов рисковать? Смотри регулярные трансляции и зарабатывай реальные деньги. И Спортбетском – живой азарт и холодный расчет. All right, and with that, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce to you for the first time ever, Rumon Fire. I'm very proud and very pleased to welcome all of you to the channel, but I'm not here alone. Fortunately, I have Semler and Vendetta with me here. How are you guys doing this evening? Take it away, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll let you go first. You know, let me go? Uh, <laughs> you know, we have our thing back and forth, man. I'm so used to you going first. <laughs> uh, which is a good thing and a bad thing, I guess, depending uh, on how you look at it. You know, I figured we should mix it up just a tiny bit. Uh, how's it? Yeah, man. Well, tonight, uh, tonight is a good night, Anders. Man, this is it. I'm all smiles. We finally did. It. We finally, you know, managed to go live. Yeah, it has been quite a long time coming, hasn't it? Yeah, I'm tongue tied. I need to get rid of it before we start casting. But right now, I'm pretty damn happy. Well, it's a good time thing we cast it, you know, started just a little bit earlier. We have nine people on the server, so we still have a little bit of a minute to just you know, welcome everyone and adjust to everything. It is kind of a crazy, crazy start. It's been this has been going on, guys, for the last two months or more. It's been crazy how long we've been planning this. We're very slow people, apparently, but um, <laughs> now we're finally here, and we do have a little bit of a teaser as well. Um, oh, your microphone is scratching a little bit, Samla. Maybe that's. I will, um, we'll see if we can figure that out in the meantime. I was adjusting it a little bit there. Sorry All about right, that. Fair enough. But we did have this really cool teaser thing going on, um, just to show you guys, you know, the the sticker opening. I wish we could have animated it, but we didn't think of it until the very last second. And Hanso, who has been helping us out, is amazing, and uh, he came up with this idea very, very soon. We don't give Hanso a lot of space to work with. We just kind of do things and then hope he can, he can, you know, get it done in the last second. But there it is. I do, I do love it. Obviously, some remember that you're gonna have to see it in delay on the stream a little bit, but I, I do like this idea. It hasn't happened quite yet, but if we could, if we at some point we could get, you know, Room on Fire stickers, then why not do it? Oh. Why not do it, right? I, I think it should be at least a part, like an option to put stickers on your grenades. So you could put a Room on Fire sticker on your Molotov. Oh. Yeah, there's oh, room that for expansion, should be a thing, right? right? That should be a thing. There should definitely be a thing. And just generally, we need grenade skins as well. I bet someone could make some really fun ones, different models <laughs> like, like Easter that. eggs flying at you. Exactly. <laughs> it's perfect. That, that's like the best idea. We need to go forward with that. Come on, Val. Please, please deliver. Yeah, so anyone in anyone's watching, like we've copyrighted this already. So don't, don't, <laughs> don't even try. <laughs> we gotta be quick. Yeah. yeah. Your microphone still sounds a little bit scratchy, Sam. Did anything change since last time you were on the laptop? Shouldn't have changed. Yeah, it sounds like somehow it's it's more. Hmm. It might be like too loud. Yeah, I'm thinking like the, maybe the sound it's setting is too. Let loud. me see because maybe maybe Skype is pulling a fast one on us it, again. It sounds like a mic boost thing. Skype. Oh yeah. What? I don't understand Skype. Okay. Nobody how, understands how Skype. How is that? Is that? Oh, it's better? much better. Much so better. much better. How does it? think that it's all right to like okay i'm gonna close the program next time i open it hey man uh so i went ahead and made a couple changes to the sounds <laughs> if you don't mind you know i think that this will be a lot better yeah but we're not going <laughs> to notify you at all it does no. the same thing with me I, I i keep i keep toggling off the auto adjust thing and every time i turn on skype something is new 
Like Skype just has its own way of doing things, and we shouldn't question it. So, <laughs> you guys, we have we've made an official statement. Of, if you go to hltv.org or to OnGamers or Esports Heaven or any other place, uh, Reddit, if you prefer, uh, you can read the official statement. But in short, what's been happening here for for quite a long time is that Semra and I. Maybe you've noticed this if you're really quick and up servant. You've noticed that Semra and I have been you know casting on this channel together for for quite a long time. And eventually, it made sense to us to say, okay, if we're going to be doing this, then why not just go all out and make our own company and do it? Um, and so we spoke to NIP about that, and they've been nothing but cool. So, um, you know, the NIP guys, I wouldn't really expect anything else either, but um, they were like, yep, yeah, if you guys want to try and do it, then, you know, you have our support, and um, that's very nice. For your guys' point of view, this is maybe initially just mostly a cosmetic change, as you can tell, you know, the graphics changed a little bit. But um, already tomorrow, we actually do have, um, you know, some more on the schedule. But I can't, I won't say yet, just more teasing coming up, which I do love doing. Yeah, well, we got to take advantage while we can, right? But there is there is more on the way, guys. It's going to yes. be, and it's going to be soon as well. So tomorrow, tomorrow we'll, we'll have an announcement, another announcement for all of you guys tuning in. So spread the word. It's going to be fun. It definitely will, but hopefully will this game right here. It's online bots versus Navi. To me, it sounds like a bit of a mismatch. Obviously, uh, Navi quite uh, a strong team here, and they're not so bad on train either, whereas um, online bots, they did win, I think, their last game on train, but it was against a very different team. I think that was against Nostalgia, wasn't it? Yeah, that's correct. And uh, I'm actually surprised at the amount of train we're seeing in SLTV so far. Feels like... Do you feel like they're trying Three to make out a of four games are on train? <laughs> do you think, do you think, do you think the players are trying to make a statement here? <laughs> Could be. Can we look into this? I think it's worth investigating, but we've definitely seen a lot of train. Not that that bothers me at all. I, because we're not going to see a lot of it in the future, because this TV is the only league that's actually running train anymore. Yeah. I mean, there is something peculiar about this this change up, but we'll see. Valve obviously are trying to remake Train, so we'll see if it doesn't just come back and it's cooler and better than ever before. If you're just joining us, then welcome to the stream. You're watching Room on Fire, and I'm Anders with me, Semra and Medetra, as always. And we do have Train between online bots and now V in the SLTV Star Series Season 10 here. The first game of the evening. There will be one more game after this. We are supposed to have a couple of games this evening, but the World Cup has screwed us over, so we're just going to have the two, which is still going to be fun. Yeah, that's going to be happening, I believe, 10 p.m. CEST, so two hours from now you have the World Cup Finals. So actually the games that were supposed to happen then got chopped. But right now it looks like we already have one kill going Navi's way, and they haven't taken hardly any damage at all until Zeus took a day to the face. But still, Navi in a pretty terrific position right now, moving in on A. Yeah, just Navi right now just winning the aim duels. This isn't even about the setup for online bots. They're just peeking to try and get some information, which isn't even a bad idea. But they run into some terrifying pistol shots from Seized and Starix, and it's just folks who's left trying to battle it out, and they're just all coming for him. They don't even care about putting down the bomb. Seized hunting for the last kill and gets the triple at the end, and we're off to, I think, a very predictable start. I mean, does anyone here, do any of you guys think that there's a chance online bot can win this? Uh, on, honestly, no. I think they can put up a decent match, but I don't see them winning at any point, really, especially with a start like this. And I think you're perfectly right with what you said. They didn't really execute anything in that pistol round. They just kind of got picks while peeking or looking around, and that kind of made the round for them. I think that's what we can really expect out of Navi uh, in this kind of match right now. I think they're really just going to be bullying. They're going to throw their weight around and look to do as much damage as possible before even really trying to get anything going for themselves. Because right now, I mean, it's more of the same. They've nearly all bought rifles except for Guardian, which is expected, and they're just kind of romping right through online bots who did go for a pistol armor buy. Yeah, not working out too well. Starix did go down, but um, that is that's about it. That was Chetty in the middle, who has you know is kind of I think the star player for for online bots. He did very well last time, but. This time, they're going to need every single member of, uh, of the Estonian squad to step it up. It's, I mean, it's definitely not going to be easy, but maybe they can, uh, they can learn a few tricks while, they are, while they're playing Navi here. I think that's it. Well, go ahead, Van. Yeah, no, I, I was about to say the exact same thing. I think that's definitely a, a good point, because Navi is, as you pointed out at the start of the game, one of the better trained teams in the world. So if there is a team that you want to study, this is definitely one of them. I'm just waiting to see Navi on CT side, and if Zeus takes his spot over on inner site, where it's like boosted up above lower ramp. Best oh, yeah. spot. Yeah. yeah. I'm just calling that Zeus spot from now on because he's pretty much the only guy we see doing that. But right now, Navi, I mean, two rounds to their name, online bots. They go for the pistol armor buy. They don't really get anything out of it apart from like folks 
who still manages to hold on to his Kevlar and his kit. So that's a nice little touch for him there. Hopefully he can do something with it this round. But Navi pretty much going, just going with the flow, really, it feels. Yeah, it's very interesting. I love the fact that Zeus has called himself Capitan as well. I think there's something good about that, you know, just to make it clear to anyone. This is an interesting setup from online bots, though. Rushing forward this far down on Ivy. I kind of like this type of aggression. I think if you're playing Navi and they're so much better than you are, you might as well try something really crazy to see if it works. They get the one kill on Seize that wasn't as a result of the flank going on, but maybe Nuka can pick up one more here on Zeus and make it happen. Oh, they, that smoke already knew. He knew, and he's going to go back and kill him through the smoke. That is... <laughs> Some pretty extreme thinking from Seuss. That intuition. Yeah. But yeah, it's pretty straightforward round so far. It seems like Navi are doing exactly what we thought they would do. Basically not execute and commit to anything at all on either of the bomb side. Basically just feel their way forward. And if they get picks from that, then they'll just go from there. I guess this is the time, seeing how this is the first buy round and Spur has picked up a picked up an op. This is the time that we might see Navi do something other than just running straight that at them. Yeah, they're gonna go for a boost instead. Guardian with the AWP and he finds Spur. Great shot from Guardian, takes one step, gets the peek and finds Spur before Spur can react. Really nicely done there, but that's Navi changing it up. However, we do have online bots managing to pick up one kill. Yeah, Chetty out here, he's gotta do a lot more. It's actually F1 coming in with a kill as well. And then Chetty does go down, so now it's a bit of an issue here. Two on three, they do have a very good hold of this bomb site, Navi, because there's almost no way that onbots can actually get out here. But they are going to be waiting, and now they get smoked off as well, so they're going to have to go back to CT spawn, which is all right, but it means still Navi have pretty much... They know exactly where they're coming from if they're going to try and retake it, which it seems like they're not even going to try. I think this... this is the right call, right? Yeah, I, I completely agree. This is the right call from online bots. F or Fates is already down to 22 HP, and it's really hard to retake that outer bomb site if you're a CT, especially when Navi still had smokes up, which they did. So they smoked off connector, and you're basically left with two choke points, which is pop train and the back alley area. And both of them are pretty easy to hold off if you're Navi. I like how Navi, I mean, Navi really just, they had such good control of that site. They still have a good number of nades even left over after that plan. Yeah. Two guys had smokes, and like two guys had at least three nades on them. Like, Navi just kind of went in there and did what they wanted to do. Chetty is going to be the man. I, I still feel like we have to watch him or keep our eyes on him. I expect him to do most of the work here for online bots, and he's already sitting at the top of the scoreboard for them with three frags. Uh, I think it was it versus Nostalgia where he was the, just the monster. Just yeah. rolling right through that team. So, Chetty's definitely the heavy hitter here for all nine bots. There's no doubt about that. Nah, Fox is going to be alone initially in the B-bomb site, not too uncommon. He's got F1 as the closest guy to him, and he's got to be a little bit closer. I feel like it's all right leaving four people initially at the A-bomb site, but once, you know, the first 10 seconds have passed, you should really start moving back to B, because it's just way more likely that it's going to be sort of a B push. And even if it is if it's an A push, you can still go back there pretty easily. So, don't want to leave the guy in B hanging for too long, I think. I'm not really sure if I'm a big fan of the position of uh, Fox here at upper. I, I don't think this is a great position. He can get e so easily caught out, and he doesn't really have anywhere to go but down, which also leaves you with fall damage. So you might be able to pick off one, but after that, he's just going to have no control over higher. Yeah, he doesn't get flashed, and the spray almost works. He's going to repeat against Zeus, but he goes down from lower. The backup not there from F1. He's all the way at the back of the side, just trying to see if he can shut down anybody. And now backup's coming really quickly, but Navi with the counter rotation back towards the A-bomb site, and this catches online bots in an awful position. Again, the smoke's off in connector, and they're just reading the Estonian team very well at the moment, Navi is. That's timing, oh. that timing on the smoke as well. Chetty with a sick nade to stop the plant. There's only 20 seconds left on the clock for Navi. Rotation coming in now, and all my bots may have just bought themselves enough time to have a chance here. Three on four, but Guardian picks off Spur, and now we're into a four on two situation for all nine bots. Alright, new girl alone, back aside again. A one on four, that was a very good grenade, you're right, from Chetty. That could have almost saved them if they could have delayed the plant a little bit longer. But Navi managed to recover, and it's now five and zero. And the favor of the terrorist side, they pick up on the... Yeah, they still have the AWP on Guardian, and... I don't know, on bots, I mean, would you, would you want them to force it up here, Ben? In this situation... Uh, sure, I, do you really want to let Navi get six rounds uncontested? Five already is probably more than enough for Navi to go into the second half, so I think they just have to put a stop to it and... Give it their all. This is pretty much all or nothing for online bots, I think. F1 wants to repeat. Fox goes down, and that's the B bomb side open. So 
you know, force up or no force up, it doesn't really seem to make a big difference. And I'm not even sure what you can really counsel them for. If Navi had been much slower, it seemed like maybe Chetty could have been able to flank around and catch someone off guard. And that, I think, is the kind of opening that they need right now on bots. But it just, it's very hard to, to, to be very positive about this. Uh, it's, it's not easy at all right now. And, I mean, Navi are still pretty much impeccable on their timing because they're just catching all nine bots out. Navi a little jumpy there, I think, taking a shot at a teammate. But so far, Navi just seem to be able to walk in and take those duels and win those duels at will. And that's that's the thing that's really, I mean, hurting all nine bots at this point. They need to just start standing their ground and getting the kills, not letting Navi just walk in or hunt them down like Seize just did. Yeah, and they hold on to the rifles until the very last seconds, and then they just uh, almost all go down. Spur survives, but he's got zero kills, zero assists, and five deaths, so I guess maybe it's good enough that he can try and get a kill in the upcoming round. But six and zero is still a pretty overwhelming score, and Navi's economy also looking quite terrifying. Two people at 11,000, one person that's Guardian on 13,000, so they are just doing a very fine job, and I think this is to be expected. I'd still like to see online on bots just try and do a little bit more than they are, and they are pushing up, actually. Everyone on the B ramp here getting the first kill, and could have got a little bit more, maybe. Oh, the season 75 folks in F1 stacking on lower. They get so many kills. Three down for Navi, and now they're trying to rotate back around. Guardian now trying to get eyes on Ali, and that's not going to happen. He gets cut off at team 8. And there's the flank. Nuga comes in. This is it. If online bots win a pistol round, that would be massive. Yeah, very good job from Chetty pushing up like that, and then Nuka to help him out, that was uh, a, some pretty good bait and switch style play going on. Now it's going to be seized here, one on three with, uh, well, with an AK. It's possible, but they should be able to take care of him, and they will, in fact, double kill for Nuka, and it's the first round for online bots. When in doubt, go seize at 75. Exactly. Go up uh, close. <laughs> but this is the first time, obviously, this was the eco setup from online bots, and they got lucky, or... Not necessarily, but you know, they had three people on the inner bomb site as Navi was basically just bomb rushing. And that's the first time online bots have actually contested that lower part of the inner bomb site. And I think that caught Navi off guard because previously they just had one guy standing passively on higher. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that's the way online bots need to go. They need to get into the face of Navi because if you let Navi just sprawl around, they're, they're going to find you somehow. They're going to find the angles they want and get comfortable and. It's going to be really hard for online bots to out-aim Navi players. Yeah, and they're actually back to what they were doing previously, um, which didn't work so well, which is holding up further on back over at the B bomb site. So we'll have to see. Right now, I'm wondering if Navi aren't going to go for a particular type of execute. You can see Starix here with a smoke grenade in hand, usually a big indication there's another one coming up. So they are going to smoke off a lot of this A bomb site and see if they can get the kills and just get on in there. Smoke off towards the connector already. So yeah, just... Uh, Standard play coming out here from Navi, but it works really well. Yeah, they're going for, I mean, they've got two guys out on the A side right now, but they're working the bomb back through to B. They're really hoping to get the rotation down, and they're catching men off guard as well. Starks with two kills on the A side. There's three, and then Zeus there to support. It's two members of Navi that single-handedly take on four members of online bots on the A site and come out ahead. They don't even die. <laughs> that was... Uh, we were about to see uh, Navi execute a strat, or just would have been a pretty cool fake. Uh, but <laughs> again, it just en it just ends up being Navi players mauling down online bots on their own. That's pretty scary. As far as online bots are concerned, this is this is like worst case scenario time because you cannot afford to win a round and then lose the subsequent round. It's just it resets your money. Now their money is all over the place. You've got a couple of them with decent money, but then two more are broke. So this is at least they're managing to find Zeus here and get a little damage down. But Fox needs to come in big here for his team. He needs to get like two or three kills. Yeah, that'd be nice, but instead he gets an AK bullet to the face and he's gone already. So I don't know what to say, but you are right about their, uh, well, the economy did get reset briefly now. I think they've lost a couple of rounds again and they are back on top. They, are they going to pick up an AWP for Spur? Yes, they will. And actually one for F1 as well. And I, you know, if they're going to hold passively, Vendetta, I mean, at least have AWPs, wouldn't you say? Oh yeah, that's definitely an advantage. And I'd like to see them do that on the inner bomb site, so I'm not really sure where Fates is going with. They're actually putting both the ops out towards the art, and I, I'm i not really sure if that's necessary with the way Navi have been attacking towards the inner. No. Oh, that's a leg shot on Fox as well, so that's uh, already the one guy defending in here has 16 HP. 
He's going to try and throw out a couple of uh, flashbangs just to buy himself some time, but they are going to be coming for him. Every single one, except for Cease, who's still just lurking above over that A-bomb sniper. The Famas is not going to be enough here. He goes down, and if they try and rotate now, then Cease is just going to walk up right behind them and pick them off as they're rotating. Very, very annoying play from Na'Vi here. Oh, this is fantastic work here from Na'Vi. They're just wrapping in. Great shot from Spur, though. Just as his feet touch the ground, he manages to point blank Edward with the AWP, but he's 1v4. He's 1v4 right now, and he will get caught. Seized, lurking on the A site, we'll find him. So Navi, they've got nine rounds on the T side of Train at this point. And it doesn't look like online bots are any closer to being able to handle this. Again, they're going to have to go with the pistol round. Well, I guess the bright side is the one round they have won up till this point was a pistol round. Yes, this is true. That that's the silver lining for them right now. So they have to work their pistol magic once again and uh, hope for the best. Maybe catch a group of Navi players uh, unaware. Yeah, while they're cleaning their rifles, you know they don't Something have any like bullets, that, yeah. bullets in. That's exactly when you want to just rush in. But it, well, actually, some good C set action there. Starix goes down. Could have been a little bit more. Spur picks up an AK. Uh, this is a two on three. Maybe maybe they are just better with pistols. Who knows? This seems better than when they have rifles, at least. Folks is going to come down towards Pop Dog as well. Maybe try and steal that fallen AK, but I think, yeah, it's still being watched by Guardian. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted that AK so bad. Do you think his fingers were itching just to try and pick it up, please? But that was comical. You, you had Guardian, if you're watching from his point of view, you, you, you just see folks like going back and forth, back and forth. You just see the pistol there. Guardian, I'm sure, is just laughing to himself, going, okay. When's this guy? When's this guy gonna show himself? He's gotta take one step more. If but it had been real that... life, he would have like he would have taken up his belt and try to you know try to whip it over so he could like draw right? the gun back towards him, <laughs> not not expose himself. Well, what was cool about that round was that uh, Navi, I mean Guardian, got up to T main very quickly and he heard multiple steps very close to T main, and so Navi inst they instantly start rushing and pushing pressure, putting pressure over at alley. They put three guys down it based off of Guardian's call. So. I mean, the com I mean, it's it's no big surprise. The communication on Navi right now is very good. Chetty walking around. He, mm, I don't think he's hurt anyone yet, and he needs some communication between him and Nuga here so that they can sandwich some players in. Otherwise, Navi again, they're just out in the middle of the bomb site and doing whatever they want. There's a good kill and a double kill from Chetty. Very important. Might be a second round on the way here for Onbots. It's a shame for F1. Just as he unscopes, he gets picked, and now it's falling apart. Seize is starting to take a duel, and he will take the shot. Zeus as well. Edward. Everybody getting a piece. And now it's just folks. Last man alive, 1v3, rotating in to connect it from the B site. But as soon as he comes up to the door, the smoke goes down. There's just no way. There's already a man waiting on the other side of that smoke. Edward is just waiting, crossing his fingers, hoping that folks is going to try and you know go for a ballsy play and push through. But that's not going to happen. Uh, smoke's gonna clear up at just about any second now, and once it does, Edward's gonna spot one guy in the corner, sprays down, and doesn't actually win that battle, but Fox is gonna try and run back, picks up another member of Navi, so at least he's probably gonna save this rifle unless he runs right back into the face of, or well, the waiting arms of Zeus here. But even if he does, this isn't what actually makes a difference in the game anymore. No, it's sa saving one weapon is not gonna do anything for you, really. <laughs> no! Zeus finds him! He knew it! That was close. Yeah. Everything is going... Uh, I mean, Lady Luck is not on online bot's side right now. No, he's, they're merciless, right? I mean, Na'Vi just hunting them down, and obviously that results in another eco round here in the 13th round for online bots. 11 to 1, and we're on the terrorist side of train as well. It kind of doesn't get any more clear than that. Nuka gonna rush forward here, and I like this idea. Starix very nearly going down. Chetty next with a deagle, and it's gonna be one click to finish him off. So they do get the kill, but they lose the bomb sign in the meantime. Yeah, they, they went for that same push through lower, it seems like. And there's Seize managing to wrap around on Chetty, catches him off guard at alley. There's four members alive here for Navi on this A site. They have to hold it. Guardian gets a great headshot onto F1 with that AWP. So it's all on Spur and Fox, and realistically, they can't do much here. Best chance is picking up <laughs> your weapons before <laughs> fading to team kill, I guess. That works too. Oh, what a beautiful shot from Guardian. That was that was great, though. I mean, <laughs> I'm, conv I'm convinced Fox like he was like bet to do that. Like, that's yeah. all yeah, he said. Yeah. Well, that's more economical <laughs> damage than they would do by just killing him. So. They're, they're thinking long term here, for sure. But obviously, the the bigger issue is the fact that Navi hasn't lost around in quite some time. So even with that team kill, Guardian's sitting on 8.4k after buying. Yeah. 
So, yeah, and, and the, also another worry for online bots is the fact that they've gotten off to okay starts in the round. It's not like they've started down in a 4v2 or anything like that, but something similar to this, Chetty picks up two frags. The last time this happened, they weren't able to close up the round, and they need to do that if they want to have a chance. Yeah, I guess that's got free as well. I mean, this time they do have a two on four. Guardian gets smoked away, Seized, the smoke just clearing for him, and he's going to be waiting for Chetty, who's right around the corner. Chetty walks in, and Seized does get the kill on him. Back into a two on three. That The rope that they're holding on to right now, online bots, it's getting more and more slippery. We and have to see... Guardian, Guardian is going to be the key man here. Look at this, he's already rotated in through upper. He's going to be looking towards bomb train with that AWP, but Fox is ready and gets the shot. So very nicely done there by Fox. It's all going to come down to C's now with 12 HP. He's trying to sneak his way down, but he gets spotted by F1, and that's it. Online bots, two rounds now to their name. Two out of uh, 14. It is actually kind of bad. I was going to say it ain't bad, but you can't really... There's no way to spin that. We're in the 15th round, and the score is somewhat predictable. I mean, this isn't necessarily a reflection of the fact that online bots are just a, a terrible team, but you get placed up against, you know, the team that won SLTV Star Series last time around, and just, you know, a very, very strong team. It's hard to, to really do much, isn't it? Well, yeah. There's very few teams who can actually compete with Na'Vi. So... Uh, we're talking that, about this is what you... Oh, go ahead. Well, yeah, you see kind of how big the gap is between the absolute best in the world and those who come right behind. And when I say right behind, I mean figuratively. It's like tier one teams and then tier two teams, and yeah, that it's that big of a difference. And that that's what makes these players in Navi special. It definitely is. But then if you think about how what a big journey Navi have been through, you know, there's no reason online bots couldn't go on a similar journey and just improve massively. Oh, that's a great post. He's got right there at the edge of the train. But Starix is alone here in a one-on-two. And actually, maybe a third round for online bots. Round starting off with some great kills from Spurs. We were just talking about... I don't know. It is it is still hard to see a scenario in which online bots are going to come back from this. This is still, remember, on the uh, terrorist side that Navi is doing all this. So it's a pretty big uh, thing for them. There it is. Finally, Starix goes down. And we can just can we, yeah take a look at him right there on the edge of the train. I do love that. I'm going to I'm gonna screenshot that, in fact. Perfect are you going to send it to him? Be like, why are you napping? Exactly. Why are you relaxing like that? Come on. Big up, game. Sleeping. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us, then welcome to the stream. You are on Room on Fire, which is our brand new channel, previously renamed from uh, Nip TV. Thank you so much for joining us. We really do appreciate your support, guys, because, you know, this has been a long time coming. And if you do want to read the statement, you can go over at uh, hltv.org or on Reddit or on OnGamers or on Esports Heaven or any other place, and you'll get uh, a full read-up of what's been going on. And this is only the first step in a, in a line of changes. Already tomorrow, we have more stuff coming up for you guys. So, But for, uh, for tonight, thank you for joining us. And obviously, the second half is coming up here. This is the SLTV Star Series. After this game, we have a game I think that's going to be much more close and interesting it will be Hellraisers versus the former SK lineup in ESG so do not uh, miss that game it's coming up and you'll still have time to watch the World Cup so it's perfect talk about planning yes indeed it's pretty good and I, I really can't wait to see Hellraisers and ESG play especially because we don't get to see that much of Hellraisers because they tend to keep to themselves if they're not playing at big major or major tournaments and uh, ESG have been on a roll. They've just been slaying giant teams left and right as of late. So Michael Lilly, I mean this is the team that has Michael Lilly on it and we've I mean he's been putting up great performances game after game. So oh, yeah. Definitely one of the guys you have to be keeping an eye on look, right I now. I don't want to interrupt, but look at what Edward is about to do. USPS right out the back. They actually run into him. He still picks up a kill, and I have no idea. That was a very quick flick, and now they have to worry about everything all at once. Edward's going to jump down. He is actually just a ninja. He misses the shot, but finally going to pick him up. Three bullets left. Now just a single one. He gets time to reload. How have they not killed Edward yet? He's still playing around with them, and finally he's going to go down, but I think he did just about enough that round. He did everything he needed to do. He just stopped them cold in their tracks. Now it's a two on four online bots. They still have Nugga who's waiting to hope. He's hoping right now that somebody's going to walk around this corner. He's going to be obliged in just a moment. Good headshot there. Manages to find Zeus. Brings it back to two on three. But online bots have still got their work cut out for him here. This is not over yet. And Seized is in a great position. Catches him. Wow. He catches folks right on the stairs. Or on yeah. the ladder, rather. Pythe. A little bit of confusion. That was... 
I mean, I think actually Nuka, or sorry, folks, inadvertently ran into the ladder and sort of got, you know, connected to it. And then he tried to get away and it was a little bit too much confusion. So on top of all the rounds that Navi've got in the first half and winning the pistol round, they also win the pistol round on the second half. And I mean, that's just a pretty clear indication of what is in store for online bots here Whoa. for what may be the last three rounds of this game. Guardian has an AUG. I haven't seen that bot since the nerf. <laughs> an AUG and no head armor. <laughs> Guardian has no fear. Oh, nah, it's a quick hitter play. It's actually Seuss with the Nova shotgun. That's a triple. That's a quad. One more. Oh, no. I was going to say one more shell, and it would have been a Nova shotgun ace for the second round, which would have been beautiful. And now Guardian gets to use the all get last. So there it is. 14 to 3. And, uh, well, not much really to talk about here. Obviously, online bots are going to try and buy because anything else would be just ridiculous. Yeah. And uh, they're not going to have the money to get the best buy in the world, but. Some are, yeah, two AKs, one without armor, one without. So, uh, well, at this point, they were just going to have to hope for miracles from here on and out. They need to play perfect game of Counter-Strike to get back into this, and I don't really see that happening. Oh, that's the M4A1 Cyrix that Seized has. That actually looks cooler in-game than it looked from the picture. I'm a little bit I'm jealous now. I'm liking it. <laughs> oh, oh, Edward. Edward. It's like he knows someone's there. So he just casually starts shooting. <laughs> like prior to, I, I don't know how he does it. In any case, not the start online bots needed. Uh, and uh, like another issue with this is the fact that normally when you do a uh, 2 one 2 setup like this, the guy who's in team and is normally the guy to start it off, he's going to throw the, the pop flashes or, uh, you know, the key smokes. Mm. So make all of this started like the they're not going to have a really good way to actually get onto the yard area this this time around and you can see that nugan fox have already backed off from alley and i this has to be an inner push i i don't think they can realistically go four people out pop and hope to actually win the round so they're gonna question, try their luck versus question is, yeah i was gonna say they're gonna walk right into Seuss and lose a play immediately so that's another one down and Seuss just gonna run back no issue at all Guardian winning down here with the Orc, and there's just 20 seconds left as well. This is looking very confusing for online bots. This is looking yeah. very good for Navi at this point. They've, they've got 10 seconds left to hold. Here's Zeus on upper. Guardian has already found F1. He's putting that Og to work. Guardian with two. Eight seconds left, and Guardian gets all three kills. Zeus actually shoots him with the AWP. <laughs> Are they fighting? Zeus is actually on top with 23 kills, and then it's Zeus in second with 18. Ah, this That's is it. This is it. Look at that. Oh, Did you, you see kidding that? me? Four AWPs. Okay. Four AWPs, Navi. Why not five? Starx, what are he, you doing, man? He actually could not afford one, so maybe... I don't know, but yeah, Let's four AWPs. Why not? Oh, yeah, Scout. I don't know. I think this, yeah, again, just more of a sign that Navi, they they already know what what's coming, and probably online bots do too. Yeah. Online bots are going to try to smoke out the entire yard area, so they're going to hope for a quick bomb plant here and maybe get lucky. Yeah, Edward with the first kill here, seized in the corner, just shooting away through the smoke. He's gonna grenade out, and that grenade is actually gonna tag Nuga a little bit. He's gonna run up with the 5 7 in hand and get the kill on Nuga. The bomb goes down at least, so it's the best round yet in the second half for uh, online bots. They're in a 3 on 3, and it's uh, Navi's turn to retake. Those seized will take down Spur, and now it's all up to Chetty. It is all up to Chetty as Edward finds another. Chetty with the Deagle, he's waiting for the main. They haven't figured it out until Guardian finds the final shot of this game. So a 16-3 finish, and the vast majority of those rounds won on the T side for Navi. So, I mean, Ven, I think that was the point. You're right. You know, it's just the difference between a team that can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the likes of Nip, Hellraisers, the whole lot, 